Time to Meet, an exhibition of recent works by Cameroonian artist Joel Mpadu. This is Mpadu's first solo exhibition in Nigeria, and it presents recent works on aluminium arising from the depth of introspection regarding the way fellow humans act in the world. Time to Meet comes in a complex of images that dwell on the contradictions of human life. It opened at the Omenka Gallery in collaboration with Alliance Francais as part of the Francophonie Week 2016. So we're very proud to be hosting such an important artist and we're very impressed with his work and we're very happy that uh, he's showing in Nigeria for the first time. Perhaps in consideration here is Du's style that consists of suffusion of the lines, which makes his figures compelling. They appear to tease his audience. His drawings are childlike and very vibrant in colors. He engraves on aluminum and then it takes him like two to three days to finish a particular work. But most of his drawings are almost not finished. If you look at it, you see that sometimes you have to look at some of the figures to know what they are. Because maybe because he engraves and you can't see on the aluminum, but most importantly, his work is very free and very spiritual. It's just very easy to relate to any of his work. Anybody can pick up a piece and understand what he's trying to say. Joel Mpadu studied fine arts in France and is one of the finest artists on the African continent, enjoying international critical acclaim with his paintings and multimedia works. He is preoccupied with experimentation in his works. Inspired by the tactile reality of his environment, though he is mostly an inner traveller. The work directly in front of me is titled One Lovely Evening. And though that subject is a very mundane subject, an everyday subject, but at least you can see how the artist has been able to highlight and, uh, and uh, uh, highlight the importance of, of family, the importance of coming together, the importance of unity, the importance of a shared identity amongst Africans in that work. His techniques involve scratching, and he works on paper canvas, corrugated iron, and recently acrylic sheets while incorporating earth, paint, clay, packaging, wood, and chalk. Mpadu explores the fragility of individual human identity and how we reinvent ourselves while moving and evolving in the city. He suggests that in the process, this delicate self takes control through conflict with society and its institutions while drawing on history and destiny, as well as relationships. He has an uncommon gift of synchronizing conflicting elements, French and Dwalin, traditional and modern, while blending a myriad of influences. Joel Mpadu was a visiting artist at the Bag Factory in Fudsbury, Johannesburg, some of his exhibitions include Rendezvous, which is a highlight of a 2006 Dakar Biennial of African Contemporary Art in Senegal. He has held solo and group exhibitions in Cameroon, Austria, Senegal, France, Cuba, Lebanon, Kenya, and the United States. Olawale Rotimi, born April 13, 1938 in Sapele Delta State, South South Nigeria, is a multi-talented artist. Popularly called Ola Rotimi, he was really passionate about the arts. He attended St. Cyprian School in Port Harcourt, River State from 1945 to 1949. Later he left to the United States in 1959 to study at Boston University where he obtained a BA in Fine Arts. In 1966, he obtained an MA from Yale School of Drama, where he earned the distinction of being a Rockefeller Foundation scholar in playwriting and dramatic literature. When he returned to Nigeria, he became the head of creative arts at Uniport, 
a lecturer of the Obafemi Awolowo University in Lefe in Oshun State and a visiting professor in Germany and Italy. His first plays were To Stare the Gods and Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again. Most of his works were influenced by the Yoruba traditions and culture. A lot of people describe him as one of the best things to happen to the Nigerian theatre and a complete thespian. He died on August the 18th, 2000. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. The curtain falls on Art House, but the conversation continues online as always, and I'm so looking forward to your comments. Those images as well, you can tweet at Melinda Akilami. Our Facebook followers already know what to do. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.